Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 29, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see your new studios, and you're welcome to follow our trades over at Ether. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index and only a few minutes ago, the Federal Reserve came out with a statement that it's not going to change its interest rates. That basically means that that is very bearish for the US dollar. And therefore, we could see this US dollar continue to depreciate uh, in the next uh, few weeks, probably also months. And we could actually see this go and retest these previous lows. So that should be very bullish for uh, commodities, prices, metals. Um, as uh, they are priced in the US dollar and the cheaper the US dollar becomes, the higher demand there is for those um, commodities and therefore prices should basically increase. Same goes for stocks, indices and so on. So there's a negative correlation between those. So uh, a fall in here, a fall in the US dollar could see a continuation a spike in commodities, for example. So we're down today and we're quite far away from the 20 exponential Our rallies from here will most likely be sold into if we get towards the 20 exponential. Next target here is uh, uh, 89.71 Gibor take. So let's look at oil. So oil did spike up towards the top of the village band and gave most of those gains back. We are trending in a really tight range here and have been or basically the last two weeks. So the very lows here at uh, give or take 60 and the highs here at 64. That's basically where we have been trending. And to, until we basically break one of these uh, levels, uh, we're just going to stay within this move in this uh, range here. So I'll give or take four dollars. If you look at technical indicators, they do favor the upside. So we could see this break towards the upside and therefore we could see this rally up towards uh, 67. But still at this moment, there's no clear sign where this is going as it is pulling back at the top of the range. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to rally. It has been a very impressive rally for natural gas. We went from 0 no, 2.47 all the way up to nearly $3. So we were right here, 2.9795. And then we got this shooting star. And this could be a sign that this is as far as this uh, will go. If you get another red candlestick here tomorrow, then that probably be the end of this rally. But we have seen this before. We saw one here. On Shizar and we fell and then we continued the rally. So we could drop towards the 20 exponential. It would be not be strange as we are overbought at this current stage. So a pullback could be expected. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential will most likely find a major resistance down here at 2.747. Um, and yes, it is to be seen where we'll basically go. So technical indicators otherwise are very bullish. So let's look at copper. No, that was wrong, sorry. So copper continues to rally. We are approaching uh, 4.5. Absolutely a massive rally from basically this uh, support down here at the 50 moving average. And at the moment, we're getting fairly parabolical. It starts, it's starting to look like this move. And uh, the more parabolical this will become, the bigger the fall and usually a fall towards the 50 moving average. So. At the moment, we are overbought at 71. Technical indicators are still very bullish. Even though the CCI is turning around, it's still way above 100. So still momentum is to the upside. So let's look at gold. So gold has also rallied in the end of the session. Of course, uh, that's also due to the interest rates uh, news. Uh, we hit support down here at the 20 exponential down at the 1762 uh, and now we're trading at 1781 and this could be a catalyst for gold that we could rally above uh, 80 if we go past, past 80 we could go to 85 even to 90 and beyond that break below the 20 exponential opposite the door to the 50 down at 1744 and then well below that all the way down to the very bottom here 
Tech indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. So gold at this moment doesn't really know where it's going to go. It has reacted to this news, but still it needs uh, we need a, a better sign than this at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver has a bounce from the uh, 50 moving average uh, quite aggressively. And, and at this point, we're still in the red, uh, but this probably also due to the news of the Federal Reserve uh, keeping interest rate at the same level. So if you look at technical indicators, they are also fairly all over the place. MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, flat, the CCI is becoming bearish, and the RSI is flat. So also here, we need to take out these previous lows in order to go to 27 break below the 50, over the door to the 200 at 25.3, and then below that all the way down to 23.8. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum has fallen as uh, was expected. It is just continuing these moves uh, that we have been seeing, rally towards the top, broken down almost to the bottom, rallying to the top, broken down to the middle, and could see this break below here but we have quite a big pullback uh, at the end of the US session if you look at the indicators they are uh, they are turning around the MACD is still bullish the uh, stochastic is crossing the signal line becoming bearish CCI is becoming bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage so pullback towards uh, 1155 that's probably as far as this will go this is in a gradual grind towards the 1300 at this current stage. So, Pallium. So, Pallium has pulled back a bit. It was kind of about time. We have had this massive move here from 22.59 all the way up towards the very highs here of 29.57. And a pullback from here could be expected. We'll most likely find major support at the, the previous previous size here. So we did have a triangle pattern looking like this. There. So we could see this pullback towards this line or even this uh, of this support level here down at the 22 uh, 39 before going higher. And it looks like we are in a fairly parabolical move. So pullbacks could be expected, and uh, when they do, they usually fall quite aggressively. Technical indicators are still very bullish. We're on the edge of being our bot, but they are also slightly turning around at this current stage. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium is uh, also uh, gradually um, going back towards support. Uh, we have been to the very top of the bullish band here, trading at uh, at uh, 23.82. Uh, Technical indicators are still very bullish, but they are leveling off. And that usually means that we're going to, to test support again. So this has been rallying towards the top, pull back towards the middle and done the same thing over and over again. And we are an uptrend that there's no need to basically fight this uptrend. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has finally shown um, a massive rally to above the 50 moving average. And now it looks like it is about to take off towards the upside. Technical indicators are very bullish. We are at 63, so we're on the edge of being our bot pullback, and we're significantly outside of the bullish band. So a pullback towards the 50 moving average could be expected here before going higher. Next target will most likely be uh, 7,500 or 18,000, but this has been a really impressive move for the last four trading days for nickel and uh, 200 moving average was basically the very bottom of this market. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has fallen as uh, was expected. It got it had a massive rally, but got way up ahead of itself, especially yesterday when with this uh, massive candlestick above four percent rally to the upside. So at this point, it looks like we're going to fall back towards support. Support should be around uh, the twenty exponential or these previous highs. So around this area here is probably where we'll find uh, find support. 
Let's pull back from here and then continue rallying to the upside. There's no sign that this is going to break down again. If we break below the 50 or the middle of the bullish band, then yes, we could fall back towards these previous lows, but uh, that's very far off at this current stage. Technically, are all turning around as we were. Uh, MACD is still bullish, but other technical indicators are turning around and becoming bearish, indicating that we'll turn around from here. So let's look at cotton. So cotton, very similar. Uh, we are most likely going to retest the 50 moving average or the 20 exponential. We all have crossing up the 20 and the 50 here. Usually that is a bullish sign, but we are getting fairly overstretched and that's why we have a pullback. Technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still bullish, but the other indicators are turning around, indicating that we are most likely going to pull back and then rally back towards the upside. Break below the middle of the bullish band, that could open back towards the very lows here. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa, still nothing really is happening here. It's uh, You could toss a coin and you could just guess where this is going. It is... Uh, it is uh, technical indicators basically are everywhere. So until we have a clear sign of a trend to the upside or a downside, I just stay far away from this. So let's look at wheat. It is more interesting as uh, this created an absolutely massive bearish hammer yesterday. It got all the way up towards 771 and then just bang to the downside. We're down roughly 2% at this current stage, and uh, it looks like this is going to continue back towards the 20 exponential down at, uh, if you look at Fibonacci, that's probably more accurate to look at. So we'll most likely find support down here first at the 704. If that breaks, then we have the 682 just above the 20 exponential, and that's probably as far as this will go. If that were to break or overshoot, then 664 will mostly be significant support. We'll have the middle of the bullish band, even the 50 moving average moving in this direction before this going higher. If this all breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average then, but that should be fairly strange. So usually it rallies, breaks towards half, and then continue rallies to the upside. Technical indicators are all turning around, except for the MACD at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to follow our trades over at eDrill. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.